أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم وكذلك أنزلناه قرآنا عربيا وصرفنا فيه من الوعيد لعلهم يتقون لعلهم يتقون أو يحدث لهم ذكرا فتعالى الله الملك الحق ولا تعجل بالقرآن من قبل أن يقضى إليك وحيه وقل رب زدني علما ولقد عهدنا إلى آدم من قبل فنسي ولم نجد له عزما وإذ قلنا للملائكة اسجدوا لآدم فسجدوا إلا إبليس أبا إلا إبليس أبا فقلنا يا آدم إن هذا عدو لك ولزوجك فلا يخرجنكما من الجنة فتشقى صدق الله العظيم These are ayat from Surah Taha beginning with the ayah number 113 till the ayah number 117 In the ayah number 113 Allah the Almighty the exalted says وَكَذَلِكَ أَنزَلْنَاهُ قُرْآنًا عَرَبِيًّا and thus we have sent it down as a Qur'an Qur'anًا as a Qur'an عَرَبِيًّا in Arabic وَكَذَلِكَ أَنزَلْنَاهُ قُرْآنًا عَرَبِيًّا so the beginning of the ayah number 113 refers to Qur'an and says thus we have sent it as a Qur'an so there should be a relation between uh, this ayah and the ayat before this ayah if you remember the previous lectures Allah the Almighty informed us about the day of resurrection which is common between all the prophets and messengers of Allah that they warned the people about that day and they reminded them that this life is limited and they are going to die and one day this life will completely be perished and all the creatures will be before the most gracious Allah all of them will be manifest before their creator and Allah will judge between them Allah will judge about every single creature at that day the ayat before this ayah told us how that day will be fearful how that day creatures will be respectful to their creator and all people will be very careful even they will not speak even they will not uh, look towards uh, uh, right and left they will be very respectful وَقَدْ خَابَ مَنْ حَمَلَ ظُلْمَ And before the ayah uh, number 113 uh, Allah said وَقَدْ خَابَ مَنْ حَمَلَ ظُلْمَ And he who carried wrong doing he will be indeed a complete failure this was about the evil then he said وَمَنْ يَعْمَلْ مِنَ الصَّالِحَاتِ And who works deeds of righteousness while he is a believer then he will have no fear of injustice nor of any curtailment 
So after Allah mentions both the evil and good and that they will be recompensed at that day, day of judgment and there is no avoiding it, then Allah said, وَكَذَلِكَ And thus we have sent it as a Qur'an. So Qur'an contains this main message. If you are if you choose about yourself to be one of the evils, you will be recompensed. You will go to hell. Allah will punish you on that day. If you choose to be one of the good people, doing righteous things, prefer the righteousness, and first of all, believing in your Creator, by using your all faculties and following the truth Iman, it, it, we cannot say that Iman is in Arabic just belief believe something uh, in English I think it's not uh, capable uh, to give the same meaning as in Arabic Maybe in English, Iman, something like in Arabic, Yusaddiq, Tasdiq, Verify, or Believe. But Iman, in Arabic, it comes from a rude security, Amn. So, the person within himself looks for the secure in knowledge in order to convince himself. When you convince himself, you feel security. So, making Iman to be Mu'min in Arabic as to be believer, we, we translate it in English believer, but it, it may be not the same thing. Believe maybe, if you say in English believe, it may contain just believing blindly, without reasoning, without knowing. Uh, or what's the proof behind but in Arabic it cannot be because you will not be in safe within yourself tasdiq maybe tasdiq can be without uh, search the matter tasdiq you verify him you say okay I accept what you say without knowing whether it is the truth or not this is tasdiq you just uh, verifying him you just, uh, you just uh, believing in him. But in Arabic, iman is something. Uh, this is tasdiq. But iman is something different. Iman, as I said, its root, its root comes from amn. So, and it's mean uh, security, safety. So the person in his faith when he looks for the truth uh, and, and make his research uh, in order to be convinced and at the end he will feel safety he will feel security if he reaches that uh, point uh, I mean convincing himself without being convinced it, uh, there cannot be any kind of security. He will say, okay, I believed, but in within himself he will feel many doubts, many arguments against what he says, I believed. There, cannot, there can be just hypocrisy. It cannot be a pure belief. So Iman in Arabic comes from that, that root and it should lead you to that security. And it cannot be without knowledge. So without knowledge, we cannot be a mu'min. Therefore Allah said, فَعْلَمْ أَنَّهُ لَا إِلَهَ إِلَّا اللَّهِ He said, فَعْلَمْ Have that knowledge or make that knowledge. Or you may name it as science, ilm. Have that science. Science of that there is no God but God فَعْلَمْ أَنَّهُ لَا إِلَهَ إِلَّا اللَّهِ this is Iman when you make that ilm that knowledge that science 
and it depends on your faculties by making research using your ears, heart and your eyes every uh, blessing of Allah every ability and faculty of Allah you are responsible for them all you will use them and at the end of the day you will sincerely acknowledge what you feel this is Iman the way of Iman in uh, Islam in Arabic can be fulfilled by all these ingredients so it cannot be named Iman if when you just imitate someone or acknowledge someone or verify someone and say okay what you say is truth okay I say Islam is truth it will not be accepted the Prophet himself peace be upon him he asked the people to follow him he said هَذِهِ سَبِيلِ أَدْعُوا إِلَى اللَّهِ عَلَى بَصِيرَةٍ this is my way I'm calling you to Allah but not blindly عَلَى بَصِيرَةٍ you have to be understand what you are following you have to be convinced yourself ala basira you have to realize and reason when you follow me I'm not calling you to follow me just because I have called you you have to convince yourself and therefore when you enter the religion of Islam you have to say by yourself that you have that witness Ashhadu. I observe Ashhadu means I observe that there is no and it is the present time I Ashhadu I observe right I'm, I'm observing right now that there is no God but God it means that you fulfilled uh, your responsibility and reached that conclusion by yourself you are not verifying someone else when you enter Islam you do not say I believe in that person that he says the truth or I verify that there is no God but God you say I observe I bear witness I'm seeing right now that there cannot be God any deity other than the Almighty only one God so Iman something like this so when I say while he is a believer uh, or when we when we read from Quran when Quran says while he is a believer he means something like this not just entering the faith without proof whoever works deeds of righteousness while he is a believer meaning he does these righteous things depending on his Iman and his Iman was about the only one God the creator of the heavens and the earth so you will see the intention of that person you, he does these things because of this Iman so in the sake of the creator not some other reasons as we talked about in the previous lecture Allah says if this is the thing then that person should not have a fear Allah assures him of any curtailment he will not be wrong in any way these two kind of person in this life and this life is about this reality is about this test so Allah says and thus we have sent down uh, Quran yeah, it means Quran is about this reality Quran talks about this reality about the good ones about the believers those who make Iman who fulfill Iman and those who deny their reality who deny their being and the purpose of this life and first of all before then else their creator so 
this life happens between uh, these two kind of people and uh, so Quran Allah sent it down to repeat this meaning or this message to the humanity again as he repeated it with Jesus beforehand and before him with Moses and many prophets of Allah the Almighty uh, as he said منهم من قصصنا عليك ومنهم من لم نقصص عليك some of them uh, we related to you and mentioned their names and some we didn't relate you do not know their names so uh, we do not know their number Allah didn't mention them all in Quran and all of them repeated the same thing and their all, all their message was about this life and the test here and our responsibility to acknowledge our Creator and respect Him and the end and at the end uh, the Creator will recompense the good both the good and the evil and there is no avoiding it and the last testament is Quran Allah says وَكَذَلِكَ أَنزَلْنَاهُ قُرْآنًا and thus we have sent it down Quran as a Quran in Arabic Arabian Quran means uh, something uh, which is read or which should be uh, read Qara'a uh, the root of this word means he uh, he read Qara'a so Quran should be read Allah named this book with uh, this uh, word and he wanted us to know that we should not package it and put it uh, over there or hang it on the wall we have to read it and first of all and we have to understand it not just read it, it. because Allah says in Quran that ilm, knowledge should be achieved from Quran and from every ayah, every single ayah created by Allah in this universe and then after gathering after receiving all this signs, ayat knowledge, we have to make our signs our ilm, our knowledge using our faculties in order to reach the conclusion, the meaning of this life in within ourselves. We are created capable to fulfill this process. So it cannot be something just reading the Quran. We have to shift from that level to understanding Quran. I'm not the one who says reading Quran does not make sense. It does meaningless no there should be agile there should be reward but we have to understand it this is the main purpose of Quran without understanding the Quran without receiving that knowledge you will not f be able to fulfill your responsibility in order to reach that Iman, iman you should let the Iman to enter your heart by opening yourself to the knowledge from every Side from Quran, from those who say something opposite to Quran, from everywhere, you have to be open. Then receiving all the knowledge, all uh, the ayat, the signs. Then uh, using them and honestly saying what you feel, what what's the result you reached within yourself. So you cannot close yourself. Quran there, uh, then you will not be able be able a true believer look at those who entered Islam in the time of Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him and they said after entering we believed those who entered Islam uh, out of the power of uh, out of the power uh, they 
some people in the desert, they saw that Muhammad uh, is uh, strengthening in, in this area, they became Muslim just because they saw the power of Muhammad, peace be upon him. And they saw that it's useful for them to be a Muslim at, uh, at that time. And they claim that they are believers. Allah said, no, you should not say you believed. Qalati al-Arabu amanna. The people in the desert, they said, we believed. Allah said, qul, say to them, qul lam tu'minu, you didn't believe. I mean, you didn't make iman. As we described, uh, you didn't make iman. You didn't fulfill that process. قُلْ لَمْ تُؤْمِنُوا وَلَكِنْ قُولُوا أَسْلَمْنَا You just may say, we submitted. We submitted. Uh, so, iman is something different. قَالَتِ الْأَعْرَابُ أَمَنَّا قُلْ لَمْ تُؤْمِنُوا وَلَكِنْ قُولُوا أَسْلَمْنَا وَلَمَّا يَدْخُلِ الْإِيمَانُ فِي قُلُوبِكُمْ Iman didn't enter your heart yet. So how Iman will enter the heart? The Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, when he uh, was receiving uh, stranger people uh, who wants to learn about Islam, he was putting them in the masjid. He was uh, 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 taking them as a guest in the masjid in order to show them Islam. They will there listen to Quran when the believer uh, perform salah and they will learn about Quran, about Islam knowledge, it's the center of Islam so uh, therefore then they will be able to understand what Islam is and then they will make their decision so without understanding without learning no one can be a believer so Quran means you have to read it it's uh, uh, the same, you have to understand it. And every single believer, even those who are born as Muslims, they have to fulfill the same process within themselves. Otherwise, they will, they will be just imitators, like the Jews, like the Christian offspring, like uh, the Buddhist uh, children. There will be no difference. If they do not convince themselves with Iman, with Islam, with Iman, with Quran. وَكَذَلِكَ أَنزَلْنَاهُ قُرْآنًا This is Quran, we have sent it down, and this is about this day, about this life, and about your uh, choice in this life to be a, a good doers, a believer, a truthful, or a denier, a hypocrite within himself, and uh, an evil doer. Allah says Arabian in Arabic. This is the choice of Allah, and many places in Quran, maybe about three, four, or five places, Allah said, "This is in Arabic because لعلكم تعقلون." It will facilitate. Uh, you to understand it will facilitate the understanding of the meaning. Arabic is a capable language to bear this heavy meaning. Allah said, "Inna sanulqi alayka qawlan thaqila." At the beginning, Allah said to Prophet Muhammad, "Peace be upon him." We are about to descend. A heavy word upon you. Qawlan thaqilan. I think it's about its meaning, how it's and its importance. Allah said, "Law anzalna hada al-Qur'ana ala jabalin, la raaitahu khasha." If we descended this Qur'an upon a mountain, you would see that mountain. La raaitahu khasha and mutasaddam. It will blast itself and turn into dust, scattered everywhere, scatter everywhere just because of in importance of that book. It will not remain as a mountain. It will not stand forth after descending this book upon it. So it's 
very important, have very important meaning, very important message. And Arabic is capable to bear Allah. Uh, it's ca I, I do not say that there is no other than language other than Arabic make capable to bear this meaning. But Arabic is one of them, maybe best of them, we can claim. Allah said, لَعَلَّكُمْ تَعْقِلُونَ Arabic, this Quran in Arabic will lead you to reason. لَعَلَّكُمْ تَعْقِلُونَ Not to follow blindly. This language, these verses in this language will, uh, will ease your, your task in order to reason the truth. لَعَلَّكُمْ تَعْقِلُونَ And of course those who know Arabic uh, and familiar with Arabic uh, they will uh, say yes it is the truth Arabic language uh, especially the language of Quran clear Fasih Arabic language is very capable to this and you may say Allah lead uh, the time or lead the events and made Arabic uh, in, uh, as capable as uh, it is in order to send Quran uh, in this language. This is the choice of Allah, the Almighty. وَكَذَلِكَ أَنزَلْنَاهُ قُرْآنَ But the important uh, matter here is that Allah used uh, or Allah present that choice even for us. He said, no, he says, Qur'anan Arabiyan la'allakum taqilun. Even the color of Qur'an, the language color of Qur'an, chosen by Allah as an Arabic, and that choice is also for us to understand it. Not for its beauty, not for its something else. First of all, for us to reason it. So everything in Qur'an, Qur'an itself, for us to reason, to understand it. Every single mu'min, every single believer have to fulfill this commitment in order to be a true believer. We cannot say the ulama, the scholars fulfilled this task and we are just following them. They may be a true believer, but we can, we cannot. We will not be a true believer without convincing ourselves. We cannot convince ourselves by just following them, by just observing them. Uh, they are reading Quran, making their research. So Quran address every human being. And uh, Allah says, وَلَقَدْ صَرَّفْنَا فِي هَذَا الْقُرْآنِ لِلنَّاسِ We have explained in detail in this Quran for uh, the human beings, for the human, for mankind. He didn't say for scholars. So even the language of Quran prepared or chosen by Allah in order to be, in order to ease uh, the understanding of the human being and give him that opportunity to reason about the meaning and message of Allah, the Almighty. So it's Arabic and it is the easiest language to receive the message and to reason the message and it's the best language to capable this meaning. Everything is easy. No one can say I'm out of this language, I'm European or someone else I do not know Arabic you ha you can learn it and Allah says we made it easy for you to learn it at least you can read the meaning of Quran Allah said وَلَقَدْ يَسَّرْنَا الْقُرْآنَ لِلذِّكْرِ فَهَلْ مِنْ مُتَّكِرِ we made it easy we made Quran easy to understand to remember is there anyone who wants to remember the truth? Who wants to look for the truth? Who wants to learn it? We have already made it easy. 
So whenever in Quran you see Allah mentions Quran, He mentions how it is understandable, how He made it easy to understand. He He mentions that it should be reasoned. لو كان فيهما الله سيس أفلا يتدبرون القرآن ولو كان من عند غير الله لا وجدوا فيه اختلافا كثيرا. Do they not reason Quran? Do they not realize Quran? If it was from other than Allah, then they would find many confusions, many deficiencies in it. Look how Allah invites them to reason Quran. Quran do not say nowhere in Quran you can find Allah do not say in Quran just follow Quran do not reason you have not you are not you have not that right to reason the word of Allah to criticize you have not that right you cannot try to uh, understand it this is the word of Allah you cannot understand you have to say just okay nowhere in Quran you can find something like this the opposite Quran invites and blame those who do not reason it he says do they not reason Quran why is there locks upon their hearts who locked their hearts why do not they they reason Quran, try to understand it. Look for uh, the contradiction. Is, is, is there any contradiction in Quran? You have that right to look for it until you reach that point to say this after finding no any, uh, any uh, confusion, any contradiction. You have to reach that level to say this should be by Almighty God. This is your, this is our task. We have to find, we, we have to convince ourselves. I do not say just for Quran, you have, you do not follow anything without convincing yourself. If you do this process to Quran, and if you do not convince yourself, you have to do the same process for any book before following it, before saying this is the truth, I believe in it. You have to convince yourself. Allah says, Qul. You have reached that level, reach that extent and say, لَئِنْ اجْتَمَعَتِ الْإِنْسُ وَالْجِنُّ عَلَىٰ أَنْ يَأْتُوا بِمِثْلِ هَذَا الْقُرْآنِ Even if the humans and the jinns, meaning all the people, if they came to come together and support each other in order to produce a Qur'an like this, they will fail. لا يأتون بمثله ولو كان بعضهم لبعض طيرة. You have to reach that point in convincing yourself. At that moment, you will be a true believer. Before this level, before convincing yourself, having many doubts, without knowing what's the difference between Quran, between Bible, or between any book, you just choose, pick one of them, and f say, "This is uh, this is the book I am following." You will not be uh, a true follower. Even you cannot convince yourself uh, why you should be uh, accepted as follower of that book. You do not know what is there, what what's, what there is in that book, and what why do not why do not follow the Bible, why do not follow the other religions book. If you do not if you do not have a reason, or especially if you do not know that reason, then. It will make no sense that you are following Quran or you are following Bible or you are following any book if you do not, didn't convince yourself about that truth. Our creation to be convinced 
will be happened in our chest and our chest created or our brain and our our self uh, re in reality created by our creator and there is no doubt about this reality so we have to be convinced if we didn't convince then our creator will not blame us we will say look at myself look at my chest look at my brain I did my best in order to understand and to be convinced but I couldn't then Allah will not punish us he is not a cruel one he is not an oppressor one he is not dhalim he is al-hakim but we should be honest because Allah will know our innermost thoughts and will expose it if we did convince but claim that we didn't convince وَكَذَلِكَ أَنزَلْنَاهُ قُرْآنًا عَرَبِي and thus we have sent it down as a Qur'an Arabian in Arabic language وَصَرَّفْنَا فِيهِ مِنَ الْوَعِيدِ and we have explained therein in detail وَصَرَّفْنَا means in detail not in single point in many point in Qur'an we repeated the same meaning but in different way in order to make you understand Allah used every means giving example from the people of the past or from anything making parable explaining the matter itself he used every means in order to warn the human being about his responsibility we have explained in detail the warnings why in order to give them that chance to have taqwa taqwa means protecting yourself Allah wants you to protect yourself from evil consequences of this life you have to respect your creator fulfill your responsibility follow the truth Allah warned the human being against himself he repeats his warning that this is not a play you are not just playing here this is a real life and this is very important life there there will be a real concrete consequences of this life your creation and the blessings you have is not simple things you have and your faculties your brain is very very important is excellent you should not deny all these beauties, all these important things and just play with this life. You will lose everything and you will be punished. So explaining all this reality, by explaining all this reality, Allah wants his servant to follow the truth and to protect himself against the evil consequence of this life. يتقون أقول قولي هذا وأستغفر الله العظيم لي ولكم ولسائر المؤمنين ربنا لا تؤاخذنا إن نسينا وأخطأنا ربنا ولا تحمل علينا إسرا كما حملته على الذين من قبلنا ربنا ولا تحملنا ما لا طاقة لنا به واعف عنا واغفر لنا وارحمنا أنت مولانا فانصرنا على القوم الكافرين والسلام عليكم ورحمة الله تعالى وبركاته